Hey Virgo, welcome to your reading for October. It's great to have you here. We're diving into some deep stuff, man. We're doing these crown chakra readings. We're seeing what spirit wants us to know on like a divine level. Like what, what is the big picture here? What's going on? Magician at the bottom of the deck, Virgo, coming in hot, and I knew it. When I was meditating on your energy before I started, I was also seeing the star card, Aquarius energy, and now we have the magician, Gemini. So, and it's not about the signs, it's the energy. It's like, Geminis are very really really good at like multiple things at the same time and that's what the magician is doing the magician has like all these different things at his fingertips sorry virgo <laughs> that's my alarm but that's, that's my 11 11 alarm so make a wish virgo but what i'm seeing here is <sighs> the magician is good at like many things at the same time like the magician can use all of these different elements to do whatever he needs to do. So what I'm seeing here, Virgo, because I was seeing the star card before I even started, it's like, I, I feel like you're about to enter some sort of star position. Take that as it resonates. That could be in any area of your life. And I feel like you have multiple things that you're good at here with the magician, but spirit wants you to focus on one. Just at a time is what I'm seeing, okay? Okay. That's how you're going to manifest. It's like focusing all of your energy into one thing and wielding your power in that direction is going to yield bigger results, okay? And then switch it. Then switch the energy to the next thing. Then switch your energy to the next thing. And I know that can be challenging, Virgo, especially as Virgos, we like to kind of be in the weeds and focus on the details. What spirit is asking is zoom out. That's why I started off with talking about the big picture. You're the only reading that I mentioned that in. It's like we're zooming out. We're looking at the bigger picture. There's something about that. And that is Aquarius energy, in my opinion. And that's that star card. Card number one is the six of cups here, Virgo. This just came out of left field. It's like, and I feel like that's how you're going to feel. With, with this person because I feel like this is a person we do have Gemini energy here they could have Gemini they could be a Gemini they could have Gemini in their chart what I'm seeing here though Virgo is it's it's like there's something it's like on the side of your periphery and it's just like it's coming in at a left field and you're just like hey what's up <laughs> like what's good <laughs> I don't I don't know what this is Virgo it's like you're over here like focusing on like these huge things like I was just saying it's like you're focused on maybe all these projects or things that you want to do plans that you have for life or for the world whatever Virgo I, kn I know you Virgos <laughs> I'm a I'm a Virgo stellium so I, I know y'all and it's almost as if this person's just coming in like hey I I see what you're up to uh I, I like what you got cooking. It smells good in the kitchen over here. <laughs> Can I get a taste of that sort of a thing? <laughs> and this is a soulmate energy. So let's see what, what else comes out here, Virgo. Card number two is the judgment card. Bro, Taurus got this exact combination and they're extended. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, what I'm My nose just itched when I said that. <laughs> this combination to me is always my combo of past life connection right? This is not some asshole ex coming around the bend. It's like, oh, I got tired of playing the field, so I'm coming back and I'm I'm ready to settle down with you now. It's like, okay, love and light. This ain't that, honey. All right. This is, this is like, you're going to look at this person and it's, it's like weirdly familiar. Like you're just going to be over here doing like your magician thing here, Virgo, working on all this stuff. It's like, I'm seeing you as a chef in the kitchen, Virgo. I'm seeing you with like lots of different things cooking at once. It's like you, you have all these different things on the stove and then you're over here and you're chopping onions. And then you're over here and you're, you're sauteing something on the stove. And it's like, it smells amazing, by the way, as I'm saying this, I'm like smelling what you're cooking here, Virgo. And I feel like this person's like, that smells good in here. And, and you just start talking. Maybe they're a chef too. Take this as it resonates. <laughs> Could be literal, could be metaphorical here, Virgo. It's like, it's like they then they come in the kitchen and they're like, oh, you want you want me to chop those cucumbers over there for the salad? And you're like, yeah, sure, that that would actually be nice to have some help in the kitchen. I'm usually I'm used to working alone, magician. It's like, 
I feel like it feels like home. This person, this energy. Let's start with energy. Let's just let's just chill out because I feel like I'm dealing with Virgos that are a little bit defensive here with the Seven of Wands over their heart with the Queen of Cups right behind that and the Three of Swords. So I understand Virgo if you're like okay, especially if you just got out of something, you're probably you're probably not like looking for love, and that's when it comes in the periphery, right, Virgo? that's when somebody's like hey you want me to help you chop those cucumbers <laughs> but as i'm seeing as i'm looking at this though virgo it's like you're gonna like this you're gonna feel like this person is already family like they're just gonna fit in i'm hearing la familia it's like it's almost weird it's almost like you've done this before somehow somewhere on some timeline some in some other dimension or timeline or, or life or something with the judgment card and the six of cups i don't know man i don't know what's going on here okay let's see card number three it's the six of wands man whatever this is this is what i'm getting Virgo. all right what i'm getting is that this person it's like you're over here you're cooking your you're cooking your feast right i'm seeing this as like you're you're cooking something big in this kitchen okay this person innocently comes by and it's like hey hey i know how to cook let me uh come in here and cook a little bit too it's like with this 6 of wands it's like your your success is it's not that it's gonna come from this person two sixes by the way it's more that the success that you already have is going to be heightened when this person enters the room it's like they're a good luck charm i'm seeing one of those rabbit foot like a rabbit foot kids used to like hang them off of their backpacks years ago i'm seeing this person as like a lucky charm they're they're it's like I'm not saying that you couldn't do this on your own, Virgo, or that you wouldn't be successful without this person, because I feel like the Six of Wands goes with this magician. It's like, where you go, there's success. Wherever you go, you bring success with you. You lift other people up. You are somebody who serves the collective, Virgo, as just as an archetype, right? But what I'm seeing here is is that this person is also that way it's mercury energy you know it's 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 like they're coming through as mercury energy also i'm seeing you two could also speaking of mercury you also could be i'm seeing you guys just like talking and laughing in the kitchen like somebody's stirring a pot <laughs> even as i'm saying that stirring the pot that phrase it's like you guys could be like shooting the shit you know stirring the pot maybe you guys have like controversial ideas i'm he i'm i'm hearing conspiracy theories i'm i'm just seeing all these images pop up in my head like aliens like and you're just joking back and forth and it just it, again it's coming through it feels like family this person and you might not even know this person that's what i'm saying that's why it might be a little bit like like a double take like i mean maybe they're taking a double take at you like hey you look good but it could also be double take as in do i know you like this came through a couple months ago i feel virgo for you where it's like do i know you it's maybe even you felt like a connection with with this person then it kind of backed away and then it came back and then it backed away it's like it's not that it was inconsistent energy i feel like what's happening virgo is like the angels are here orchestrating something there's something about divine timing here just keep focusing on what you're focusing on i you know I, people are like oh i i don't chase i attract right it's it's something like that it's 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 that energy. It's like just cook in the kitchen. This person is a chef as well. They're going to come by and and be like, oh, I, yeah, wow. Um, I I know how to make barbecue sauce too. And they're they're just gonna be like a welcome change to your life is what I'm seeing. So Virgo, extendeds are linked up in the top of the comments as well. So see you over on Patreon if you're interested. Love you, Virgo. See you next month. Bye.